Students, here we are today. We last week we discussed about popular participation in politics, and uh, today we are going for another fresh topic, which is known as uh, human rights. Human rights. So today's topic is not new to you. Remember when you were in the junior classes, you have done something similar. Before I give you my own definition, let's start with the definition, defining human rights. So what do we mean by human rights? What do we mean by human rights? What is human rights? I need your response. Human rights. Human rights. I want to answer and just signify by raising your hand. What is human rights? I will keep the rights on the line. Waiting for Tim Abiba Daudu. Adisa, Amifa, Abidira. Rakib, Swadik, Ukaya, Zakari, Ali, Mahmoud. Human rights, yes. Okay, Asam. Let's go for the destination now. So, we are talking about it. Thank you, Fatima. A right which is believed to belong to everybody. Thank you very much. You have five marks for that uh, wonderful destination. Shidera are privilege, privileges. Thank you. Five marks. More response. Yeah, privileges. Okay. Now let's take a look at the definition. The meaning of a fundamental of my rights. The mental human rights are those rights considered basic for the realization of an individual's full human nature. These rights refer to those freedoms which an individual enjoys being a citizen of a nation. That is, once you are a citizen of a particular country, you, you can enjoy some freedom. Yes, yes, you do. I'm writing it somewhere. Yes. Now, fundamental human rights, once again, are those rights considered basic for the realization of an individual's full human nature. These rights refer to those freedoms which an individual enjoys being a citizen of a nation. That is, the right of citizen can be defined as those privileges enjoyed by citizens of a nation. That means those privileges that you enjoy as citizens of a nation. That is a fundamental human right. And if I right and privileges enjoyed by citizens of a nation, thank you, five marks. Then Miriam Sleiman, right and privileges enjoyed by a citizen of a country. Miriam Sleiman, I will remove you. Miriam Sleiman, be careful, I will remove you. Abiba Daudu, freedom that belongs, 
freedom that belongs fundamental to everyone, okay? Miriam Sulemon, you have your five marks. Five marks. Or five marks, but be careful. I think that you are posting rubbish there. Uh, yes, me, you so too. You have to be very careful. Or else I will remove you. Or I will block you. Now, after the definition, there are some examples of all these rights we are talking about. Can we quickly just give me some examples of the fundamental human rights of a citizen? That means those privileges that are enjoyed by citizens of a nation. Can we quickly mention some of the examples? Yes, examples of, I'm waiting. Right to vote, correct, Miriam Suleiman, five marks. And to be voted for by Fatima, thank you, five marks. Right to speech, Adisa, five marks. We call it right to freedom of movement, five marks. Fatima again, right to life. Right to peaceful assembly, Anifa Adediro, five marks, thank you. Now, let's take a look at the examples that I'm having here. Examples of fundamental human rights. Rocky, right to fair hearing. Thank you. Aviva, right to seek redress. Thank you very much. Right to life or right to live. Number one. Number two. Fatima, right to freedom of shelter. Thank you. Right to form association by Nifa Debiro. Thank you. Then right to life or right to live. Number one. And number two, right to freedom from torture, inhuman, or degrading punishment. Degrading punishment. The right to freedom from slavery or unforced labor and from uh, unlawful imprisonment. Right to freedom of shelter and education. Right to freedom from discrimination on the ground of gender. On the ground of uh, gender, race, or tribe. Right to fair, fair and equal hearing. Right to private and family life. Right to dignity of the human person. Right to freedom of expression and the, the press, thought, conscience, and religion. Right to vote and to be voted for. So I need explanations for some of these examples. If you want to give me explanation of anyone, please signify by raising your hand. I will unmute you and you explain. So it's five mark as well. If you are ready, please signify by raising your hand. Yes, Fatima. Fatima, good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? Fine, sir. Which one are you explaining? Uh, right to vote and be voted for. I'm listening. Okay, as a citizen of a country, you have the right to vote or contest in an election. Okay. And you also have the right to vote for the person that is contesting. Okay, the candidate of your choice. Yes, All right. I also have the right to be a candidate. Thank you very much. So you have your five marks. So you have 10 marks already, right? No, 15. 15, okay. Noted. Thank you very much. Abiba Daudu, good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? Fine, thanks, sir. Which one are you explaining? Right to freedom of shelter. Of freedom of shelter and shelter. education. All right, I'm listening. Um, as a citizen of a country, you have the right to have a roof to live under. Okay. And you have the right to be educated. All right. That's all. All right. Thank you. So five marks. Thanks, sir. You're welcome. Kafsa Arufai, good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? Fine, sir. I'm listening. Which one are you explaining? Right to freedom of movement. Okay. I'm listening. 
um, you have the right, when you're a citizen, you have the right to move, to go anywhere you want. Okay. Without any disturbance. Okay. Uh-huh. That's all. Thank, thank you very much. You have your five marks. Adisa, good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? Fine, sir. Which one are you explaining? Um, right to speech. Okay, quickly do that. Um, as a citizen, you have the right to speak your mind. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, so speak your mind. Five marks. Sir, ten Five marks. Five marks. Mark. 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 You have it. Ten marks. My mark is ten. Mark is ten. It's not even. Uh, mark no, I need for this one is five marks. For this one. And five marks. Okay. So, so you now have uh, ten marks. Yeah. Thank you. See there. Good morning. See there. Good morning. Hello. Morning. Cinderella, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, which one are you explaining? Um, number. Now, so the examples of uh, fundamental man rights once again, right to life or right to live, right to freedom from torture into man or degrading punishment, right to freedom of movement, right to freedom from slave freedom and forced labor and from unlawful imprisonment, right to freedom of shelter and education, right to freedom from a discrimination on the ground of gender, race, or tribe, right to fair and equal hearing, right to private and family life, right to dignity of the human person, right to freedom of expression and the press, thought, conscience, and religion, right to vote and to be voted for. That is a franchise. And the right to vote and to be voted for. All these are examples of a fundamental human right. Okay, let's then proceed to the next slide. Now, still on the examples of a fundamental human right, all, there are some uh, categories of uh, this human right, from categories of uh, all these fundamental human rights. It is classified into four main areas. The categories of uh, fundamental human rights. Number one, civic rights. Under civic rights, we have freedom of movement and action, freedom of expression and speech, let us see, freedom of religion, the right to property and justice, freedom of conscience and thought. That is under the civic rights. Then number two, economic rights, the right to life, security and privacy. B, freedom from fear and ignorance. C, the right to peaceful assembly and association. Then D, the right to some measure of economic well-being and a good standard of living. Then political rights, right to vote and to be voted for that is a franchise, freedom from discrimination, and the access to public office and the political community. Uh, Ali, you, Madam Suleiman, once again, Iman, be very careful. I will block you now. This chair is not taken. Now, the last one, number four, social rights. 
So you have to be attentive to this. Social rights include the right to use public infrastructure and uh, social amenities. This means that the citizen of or individual has the right to use public places of convenience, roads, markets, shopping malls, libraries, hospitals, and so on and so forth. All these are under social rights. All these are under social rights. Aisha Mwazu, the topic is uh, human rights. Now, limitations to human rights. Limitations to human rights. The right of citizens can be limited due to some, some of the following reasons. The rights of citizens can be limited due to some of the following reasons by some students. Uh, Hello, Efosa, good morning. Efosa, good morning. Hello. Hello. Hello, Fatima. Yes, sir. Can see hands up any problem? Yes, I have a question. Okay, maybe later. When I'm okay, done with that way. Okay, I will move to that. Or you can send your question to the chat room and I will respond accordingly. You don't want us to waste time here. Limited, limitations of human rights. The right of citizens can be limited due to some of the following reasons. One, A, due to amendment of the Constitution. This is when the Constitution is amended so as to give the executive power to abrogate all in the name of promoting law and order. So that is one. B, arbitrary arrest and detention when an offense is committed by an offender. The police comes in to arrest the offender as well as detain him. So that's another one as far as limitation is concerned. Then state of emergency. This occurs when the state is at chaos or unrest. The citizens' right to freedom of movement as well as some basic right tends to be limited due to the laws as at that period. So all these are limitations to the fundamental human right of citizens. Then D, war. When the nation is at war, the citizens' rights are limited as well as freedom of movement. In this case, all resources of the government are directed to winning the war. That is as far as the war is concerned. Then E, restrictions on medical grant. When there is outbreak of diseases, the right of those affected or infected will be limited due to the nature of the disease. They are usually quarantined in an enclosed place. That means they won't have the right to move from one place to another as a result of that uh, uh, diseases for others not to be infected. Then F, insanity or mental, mental imbalance. The liquid as well as those who are mentally unbalanced or insane may be sent to a foster home or a mental or psychiatric hospital. Such people are detained or confined for their own protection and for the protection of others. All these are the limitations to all the rights that we have uh, affirmation. Now, human rights abuse. Human rights abuse. Let me quickly check. Human rights abuse happens. Human rights 
human rights abuse happens when people are prevented from exercising their rights. For example, when an individual is arrested from expressing his or her opinion, which government does not like, the individual's right to free speech is abused. Any child of school age who is not sent to school has had this or a right to education abuse as well. That is a, on human rights abuse. Ah, we go to the previous slide later. Maybe I'm slow. Anything you want to say, you can just write it here and send it to me. I will respond to your question. If a person is prevented from joining a religious group of their choice, or they are compelled to join a group against their will, a person's right to freedom of worship is abused. Human rights are also abused when people are detained for a long time without trial. That means when someone is being detained for a long time without trial. So let's take a look at these pictures. All the pictures we are seeing here are under human rights abuse, abuse of human rights. Just let's study the picture for some minutes before I proceed to the next slide. Um, Iman, he said that in the Constitution, are you allowed to be someone because of a self-defense? So it depends on the situation at that period. So it, probably if the person is trying to injure someone, and as a result of trying to defend yourself, you equally get killed. So the case may be shut to the court of law. And then after the whole investigation, if the person is found guilty, those that any one of them that is found guilty later to be punished. But if it is on self-defense, so it depends on the issue at hand as at in that period. So but it is not allowed to kill someone as far as our constitution is concerned. Not allowed to kill someone as far as our constitution, except if that person is trying to injure that person or trying to kill that person. So, but for want to kill someone willingly, that is not allowed as far as our function is concerned. So I will attend to other questions. If a mad person kills someone, then get well. If a mad person go to prison. So during that period that during that period of madness, so it seems that he, he didn't really know what he was doing then. So they can see free him. Because during that period, he didn't know what he was doing then. So that is the answer to the question to Miriam Suleiman. The man person kills someone, but he's so when he after then after he gets well, will the man go to prison? No. So during that period of madness, they didn't know what he was doing then. So we we'll won't send him to prison. Miriam Suleiman. There are limitations to further the woman, like I've said that before. So that answers to your questions. 
limitation. There are some limitations. So um, that is the more reason why you may not have all the full rights. As far as uh, you are still in school, you are still under somebody, and uh, there are limitations. So not that you are not exercising on this right at all, but there are some limitations. So all these uh, fundamental human rights, I have said most of the limitations. And that one also applicable to the school environment. We can't give all the can't give the student all the freedom. So there should be some limitations for the school to contain your excesses. So that is just the reason. Not that we are not allowing you to exercise your your rights, but there are some limitations. So that answers to your question, Miriam. So you know. You are welcome. Now let's proceed and we attend to other persons. Forms of abuse. Forms of abuse. There are various forms of abuse. One, human right abuse. So like the one you have seen in the picture. Then drug abuse. We also have a child abuse. We also have child abuse or child labor, sexual abuse or harassment, then drug trafficking. All these are various forms of uh, drug abuse. So let's quickly take a look at this slide before we move to the next slide, before we proceed to the next slide. Now, effect of abuse on individual and uh, society. Effect of abuse on individual and society. Effect of abuse on individual and society. Effect of abuse on individual and society. Below are some effect of abuse on individual and society. Roman figure one, a child with a history of maltreatment, such as physical abuse, psychological neglect, and sexual abuse is at risk, such as is at risk of developing severe psychiatric problems. Number two, drug trafficking destroy the youth of the society because it distracts them from pursuing genuine and useful careers since they can make easy money from drug trafficking. Number three, citizens of a nation associated with drug abuse are not respected in the other countries. Number four, excessive smoking of cigarettes have been associated with lung cancer. Number five, they often have poor relationships with peers and the opposite sex. All these are effects of abuse on individual and society. We can quickly go through for a while. Before I proceed to the next slide, let's quickly go through it for a while. Before I proceed to the next slide.
Before I proceed to the next slide. Now we we have some class activities. We have some uh, class activities. But before then, let's quickly go through the whole slides for the last time. And after this, we quickly attend to the questions on the class activities and be awarded accordingly. For the benefit of those that are just joining the class, today's topic is um, human rights. Today's topic is on the human rights. Uh, before I've seen your assignment, don't worry. I've seen your assignment. Now, for the mental man right, I shall move as well. Seeing yours as well. See your assignment. So those yes, so NTIC me. I've seen your assignment, Fatima. See your assignment. Now. Fundamental human rights. Fundamental human rights are those rights considered basic for the realization of an individual's full human nature. These rights refer to those freedoms which an individual can enjoy being the citizen of a nation. The rights of citizens can be defined as those privileges enjoyed by citizens of a nation. I have just a two minutes to quickly go through this before I proceed to the next slide. For the benefit of those that are just joining the class. Yeah, two minutes to we'll quickly go through this slide. The mental human right again. Are those rights considered basic for the realization of an individual's full human nature? These rights refer to those freedoms which an individual enjoys being a citizen of a nation. And the right of citizens can be defined as those privileges enjoyed by citizens of a nation. So if, if you're unable to copy a particular slide now, you can download later and copy. But if you are fast in writing, I think you do so before I proceed to the next slide. The mental man rights again are those rights considered basic for the realization of an individual's full human nature. These rights refer to those freedoms which an individual enjoys being a citizen of a nation. And the rights of citizens can be defined as those privileges enjoyed by citizens of a nation. Now we can now proceed to the next slide. Some examples of fundamental human rights. Some examples of fundamental human rights. Examples of fundamental human rights are as follows. If you are fast in writing, you can quickly do so before I proceed, before I change this slide. Right to life or right to live, that is a number one. Number two, right to freedom from torture, inhuman, or degrading punishment. Number two. Number three, right to freedom of movement. Number four, right to freedom from slavery and forced labor. Number five, forced labor from unlawful imprisonment. Number five, right to freedom of shelter and education. Number six, right to freedom from discrimination on the ground of gender, race, or tribe. Number seven, right to fair and equal hearing. Number eight, right to private and family life. 
number nine, right to dignity of the human person. Number 10, right to freedom of expression and the press, thought, conscience, and religion. Number 11, right to vote and to be voted for. You have just two minutes as well to quickly go through this slide. And if you want to copy, quickly do that. If you are unable to complete the slide, you can download later and uh, update your notes. Now, I think I can now proceed to the next slide. The categories of fundamental human rights. Categories of fundamental human rights. Civic rights. We have freedom of movement and action, freedom of expression and speech, freedom of religion, the right to property and justice, freedom of conscience and thought. All these are under civic rights. All these are under civic rights. And under economic rights, we have the following. The right to life, security, and privacy. We have the freedom from fear and ignorance. The right to peaceful assembly and association. The right to some measure of economic well-being and a good standard of living. All these are under economic rights. The political rights of citizens are as follows. Right to vote and to be voted for that is enfranchised, freedom from discrimination, and then access to public office and the political community. You have just two minutes as well, so quickly go through this slide. Two minutes. If you want to copy some areas, quickly do so. You are able to complete the slide and do that later. Fatima. Yes, me, I want you to pay attention. I want you to pay attention, please. You already found discussions are not allowed here. Oh, hey, yes. I want to block you here. A minute to, to change the slide. Civic rights, once again, freedom of movement and action. B, freedom of expression and speech. C, freedom of religion. D, the right to property and justice. E, freedom of conscience and thought. Then number two. Number two, economic rights, the right to life, security and privacy. Then B, freedom from fear and ignorance. C, the right to peaceful assembly and association. D, Right to some measure of economic revenue and a good standard of living. Then political rights, right to vote and to be voted for that is enfranchised. Freedom, freedom from discrimination and access to public office in the political community. Then the fourth one, the fourth one, social rights. Social rights include the right to use public infrastructure and social amenities. This means that the citizen or individual has the right to use public places of convenience, roads, markets, shopping malls, libraries, hospitals, and so on and so forth. All these are under social rights of citizens. A minute to share the slide. I have just a minute here. Just a minute. So quickly go through this, and if we have one or two things to copy down, we can do so. Just a minute to do this. Now, limitations. Limitations of human rights. The right of citizens can be limited due to some of the following reasons. A, due to amendment of the Constitution. 
This is when the constitution is amended so as to give the executive powers to abrogate all in the name of promoting law and order. B, arbitrary arrest and detention when an offense is committed by an offender. The police comes into to arrest the offender as well and detain him. C, state of emergency. This occurs when the state is at chaos or unrest. The citizen's right to freedom of movement as well as scientific rights tends to be limited due to the laws as at that period. Due to the laws as at that period. I have just uh, two minutes as well to quickly go through this slide before I proceed to the next slide. Limitations of human rights again. The right of citizens can be limited due to some of the following reasons. A, due to amendment of the constitution. B, arbitrary arrest and detention when an offense is committed by an offender. C, state of emergency. State of emergency. State of emergency. Then D, joining war. When the nation is at war, the citizens' rights are limited as well as freedom of movement. In this case, all resources of the government are directed to winning the war. So joining war to you can also your fundamental marriage can be limited. E, restrictions on medical ground. When there is outbreak of diseases, the right of those affected or infected will be limited due to the nature of the disease. They are usually quarantined at a close place. During the period that we experienced Ebola in Nigeria, so this happened during that period. So some rights were, uh, some people were restricted, and uh, all these uh, rights that we were talking about then. So we have limitations as a result to them, as a result of the outbreak of disease during that period. Then F, insanity or mental imbalance. Delinquent as well as those who are mentally unbalanced or insane may be sent to a foster home or a mental or psychiatric hospital. Such people are detained or confined for their home protection and for the protection of others. And for the protection of what we have two minutes as well before we proceed to the next slide. Now, the human rights abuse. Human rights abuse happens when people are prevented from exercising their rights. For example, when an individual is arrested from expressing his or opinion, which government does not like, the individual's right to free speech is abused. Any child of school age who is not sent to school has had his or a right to education abuse. And if a person is prevented from joining a religious group of their choice, or they are compared to join a group against their will, a person's right to freedom of worship is abused. Human rights are also abused when people are detained for a long time without trial. And uh, that is mostly happening in the police station, as you can see from this picture. Then the forms of abuse, we have human rights abuse, drug abuse, child abuse, or child labor, sexual abuse, or harassment, then drug trafficking. Drug trafficking. The effect of abuse on individual and society. One, a child with a history of maltreatment, such as physical abuse, psychological neglect, and sexual abuse. Such so child is at risk of developing severe psychiatric problems. Number two, drug trafficking destroy the youth of a society because it distracts them from pursuing journey and useful careers since they can make easy money from drug trafficking. Three, citizens of a nation associated with drug abuse are not respected in other, other countries. Four, excessive smoking of cigarettes has been associated with lung cancer. And the last one, they often have poor relationship with peers and the opposite sex. Now, Class activities in the next three minutes, quickly send your answers to the following questions. The right of citizens can be defined as those that enjoyed by citizens of a nation. Only answer, please. You have just three minutes, and you will be awarded accordingly. Mention three examples of fundamental human rights. 
Number two, three examples. Just mention, you don't need to explain, please, to save our time. We have just five minutes left to the end of this class. Mention three examples of fundamental math. I just mentioned, they are not to explain, please. And then number three, forms of abuse. Forms of abuse. Waiting for your response in the next two minutes. The next two minutes. So quickly do that. Fatima, I've seen your response. We call you. See your response. Habibi Dawudu, thank you. She too. David, thank you. Ismail Mustafa, I've seen your response. Asma, I'll see you. Alema Umar, I've seen your response. I've seen your response. Habibi Dawudu again. We call you again. She too. Miriam Suleiman, thank you. David, thank you. Yes, me, Yusuf. Asma, I'll see you again. Efosa, thank you. Rahima Salaudin, privileges, thank you. Yusuf Kasim, I've seen your response. Um, Daniel, thank you. David, Alima Omar again, thank you. Ismail Mustafa again, I've seen your response. Abraman Salani, thank you. Alima Guru, Rahima Salaudin again, I've seen your response. We all be awarded accordingly. Abib Salani, thank you very much. Then uh, Fatima, thank you. Daudu, thank you, Rocky. Kauzar, I've seen your response. David, she too. Asma Wadi again, we call you, I've seen your response. Thank you very much. Iman, thank you for the first time. She too, thank you. We call you again. Asma Ali. Then Ali you again. We call you Ali Maumar. Ali Badaudu. Thank you very much. Ali Maumar again. We all be awarded. Abraham Salami, senior response. Excuse me, Kasim, she too again. Ali Yuraki. Um, Aziz, Aziz, Kalsara, I've seen your response. Don't worry, Kalsara, I've seen everything. William Suleiman, I've seen your response. Fatima, thank you. Adisa, Marai Tadius David, Shai Deba by Ismail Mustafa. Uh, yes, me, Yusuf, I've seen your response as well. Then your assignment. Asma Ali, I've seen everything. Don't worry. Raima Saladin, I've seen everything. That will do. Abu Salami. Aisha Muhazu, I've seen everything. Now, your assignment. Quickly copy the assignments. They'll be forwarded to the mail sent to you. And uh, you will all be awarded accordingly. Don't worry. All the assignments submitted will be awarded accordingly. I want to mark everything and then you will all be awarded accordingly. Just send your assignment to that mail, the mail address given to you, and then uh, one month before today is Tuesday now, like Thursday, one month before Thursday. So make sure you have submitted everything so that you can have it marked and then uh, record. And I find five characteristics of human rights, just five characteristics. Of human rights, very simple question. Just five characteristics of human rights. That is your question to be sent to the mail given to you. So thank you very much. Make sure you are all paying attention when you are in the classroom. The relevant discussions are not allowed on this platform, or hence you are going to be blocked. Thank you very much. So quickly copy your assignments. If you are unable to copy the notes now, you can download the notes data on YouTube and try to update your notes. Please try to update your notes and make sure you are reading your notes and get yourself prepared very well for the reception and uh, for the examination as well. So, and send your assignment, the response to the assignment, so return to the assignment to the mail given. Then for the holiday assignment, please make use of this period to do all the holiday assignments. I'll group some, some of you. Please make sure you do it as you are resuming to come with your projects. So to come with your projects. Please make sure you do the, this opportunity to do the assignments, the holiday project uh, as you are resuming fully to school, you come with your projects. And all these will be awarded accordingly. 
thank you very much for paying attention and then always be serious and be attentive whenever you are in the classroom. Thank you very much. See you next week.